Hello, hello, hello. All right, I'm going to see if I can find myself. There we go. <clears throat> and straighten the... <clears throat> and that did it worse. <laughs> I'm going to straighten up our camera. I don't know why I struggle with this so much, y'all, but I do. It's crazy. I think it doesn't like me. That's okay. <laughs> well, hello, Morgan. Oh, I think I got it right this time. All right, so the camera is good. How are you doing, sweetie? Hello, hello. Hey, Mabel. How are you doing? All right. Well, happy Monday. Um, I will be honest with y'all. I hit a complete like brick wall at about, I don't know, 4.30 today. <laughs> and I have been so tired. Um, so I hope I don't fall asleep <laughs> while I'm trying to do Facebook Live tonight. It's just been one of those days. Um, we are getting ready to go on vacation next week. And um, I have lots of classes that I have to cut for this week and have lots of craziness going on just um at my full-time job so i uh i won't be i won't be sleeping much either which means i'll just be even more tired right <laughs> so hey Berna, how are you all right we're gonna dive in just so i can go ahead and get to our projects and get on with cutting packets tonight um one thing i wanted to remind you of is the many um spring what i call the spring catalog is retiring and i'm gonna grab it real quick don't forget if there's anything you want out of here the bundle pricing will end on thursday and then um any of the products that are retiring they will be gone you will not be able to get them after um after thursday Thank you, Verna, for sharing. Yes, that's the a thing I did forget to say is make sure that you comment, you share. Um, I will remember to draw prizes because guess what I forgot to do last week? Draw prizes. So I'm going to draw those two tonight. And then we'll, we'll draw two more too. So we're going to draw a total of four at the end of the night. And I stuck it in front of me so that I'll remember this time. <laughs> um, but um, so mini catalog retires make sure if you want anything from it that you get it if you don't get it before and actually a lot of this stuff is already sold out so um just know that as well um but if you spend fifty dollars from my online store i have a tutorial bundle it is 37 projects for the month of june and i will send that directly to you by email it's a link um, that you actually will click on and it just it's because I have to save it. it's so large I have to save it to my Dropbox so I share a link with you so that you can download it yourself um, but there are some really awesome projects in here I have emailed out to everyone who has ordered um, <clears throat> and so if you did not get it please let me know because I did make sure this weekend that I got caught up on sending all of those out um, Hey, Miss Vicki, you're watching now, look forward to the cards. Oh, <laughs> the cards are great, if I may say so, but they were not originally my creation. I did change them, so, but I'll tell you the story about all that, too. Um, bingo. Bingo will be July 23rd at Murray's in uh, Casey, South Carolina. This is a live event for me. If you are interested in doing bingo, please let me know, and I can definitely send you, I will send you the registration link. There's also a link in the description of this video that you can click on that will take you straight to that registration as well. But if you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know. Um, but that is due by July the 16th because then I have to get everything ordered and get the class packets and everything cut. Um, I am going to do the mini catalog paper share. I almost did not, but... I had several of you ask me <laughs> if I was going to do it and that you wanted to sign up for it. So I went ahead. I got it all together last night. Um, this is what a paper share looks like from me. 
Um, this isn't all of them. Um, I just kind of grabbed ones that I had left over. So this is kind of a sampling of one um, from the annual catalog. But I just wanted to show you. So what I do with mine is I package them in envelopes like this. And they're six by 12 papers if it's a 12 by 12 pack. If it is a six by six pack, then you will obviously get it in a six by six. But I package them up in little plastic envelopes so it keeps them all separated. I put the name of it, I tell you what size the paper originally was. I give you the item code because if you fall in love with it and wanna purchase the whole pack, then you can do that very easily. Um, I give you obviously my Stampin' Up! website so that you can do that and I give you all the colors because when you purchase Stampin' Up! paper, on the back of their paper, they will give you a list of all the colors and this is just a sample one. So they give you a list of all the colors. I want you to have that. So that's why I take the time to do it. Um, so there's a link in this video with the registration. It is just a registration page, okay? What will happen is once you register for it, I will email you an invoice from PayPal for you to pay. Um, let's see, the paper share this time is $63 and it's 126 sheets of paper. Okay, now one good thing is I decided instead of doing like um, an extra little, like last time we had the paper share for the mini catalog in January, the one that's getting ready to retire, we had celebration and what I did was I gave you all the paper. Instead, this time I'm allow allowing you to choose one celebration item because your paper share the cost of it um, before shipping and tax and, and all that fun stuff is a little over $50. So what, well, it's like close to that $60. So I decided that I will just let you pick a celebration item. So in that registration form, there's a place where you can pick which celebration item you want. That's kind of how I felt like it would be a little better this time. So if you have questions, let me know and I'll be happy to go over all that with you. But it is $63. It is plus $9 shipping if you need it to be shipped directly to you. If you are doing porch pickup and all that, I will not charge you that shipping. Okay. All right. Again, if you have questions, let me know. And again, this is just a sample of how I put all of mine together. I try to make it so that you really fall in love with the paper and it's easy for you to order a whole pack if you want. Oh, let's see. Why can I not find the live on time? I always miss the beginning. <laughs> um, well, Sharon, are you going to my group or are you going to the page? Because sometimes it does take it a while to get up. Like if you're if you're going to my group which has less members in it, then it, I don't actually share it. Um, it takes me a little while to get that shared over there. So that's probably why you missed the beginning of it. But um, you can go in and have it notify you as soon as I go live on, on the page. And it should, it should tell you like I'm going live. And then I give it a couple seconds before I even start talking. So I'm not sure. <laughs> that might be on your side. Um, but I can help you at class if you want me to, to kind of see why it takes it a few minutes to come up for you. Hey, Dora, how are ya? Okay, so paper share, bingo, tutorial, mini catalog. All right, so with the mini catalog, the mini spring catalog retiring, that means that there's a new catalog coming. Hey, Carrie. <laughs> Um, there's a new catalog coming and hold on. It's buried because I've been working on classes. Um, it is the many, what I call holiday catalog. Now the holiday catalog is probably one of my favorites because I love holidays. I love being able to 
do Circe's and 3D projects and all that and Halloween and Christmas and Thanksgiving, that's the perfect time to do all those. <laughs> so I love, I love, love the Christmas. Well, the holiday catalog. Um, this will start on Friday. Okay. So if you um, have not gotten your catalog, please let me know and I'll make sure to get you one. But um, I can't show you this catalog until Friday. So all you get to see is the pretty front and the pretty back. So very, very pretty. Um, Saturday, just so you know, I do a launch party um, with a bunch of other demonstrators from around the world. And that will be on Saturday. I will start sharing that on Wednesday to this page so that you can have that link to go into to watch that. But it'll be all day Saturday. Um, and there will be multiple different presentations. I will be doing the um, tree lot. Is it called tree lot? I think it's called tree lot. Um, hold on and I'll show you. This one right here. No, trees for sale. The dies are called tree lots. So this is what um, stamp set I will be using. I absolutely love this stamp set. Um, it's a photopolymer. So there's the different images that are in it. They're all currently on blocks because I still have to finish putting everything together. But it comes with dies in the celebration catalog. The dies are free with a hundred dollar purchase from this catalog or from the annual catalog or from the clearance rack. Any hundred dollar purchase that you make in the online store, you can get these for free. And these coordinate. And it has the cutest stinking camper. So, oh Morgan, you like the tree? Oh yes. And Amy does too, it's my favorite. Um, it was the very first one in my um, in my cart when I did my pre-order. So, but this is the um, this is the uh, bundle, well, stamp set and then dies that I'll be using for the launch party on Saturday. So make sure you check out that launch party. Um, all right, let's see. I do have a couple more things because it's that time when. Oh, I know, Dora. They're amazing. <laughs> amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, it's that time of year where when a new catalog starts, there's just so much that's going on. And I feel crazy with it all. But um, this is club for July. I decided for July, most people take vacations. Most people go on to the lake. So I decided to use the Let's Sail, Let's Set Sail bundle. And there we go. This is my favorite project right here. I absolutely love it. Um, this is for Club. Club is $39. You can get more information for Club in the description of this video. Everything I talk about, there's a link in the video that you can click on and it'll take you straight to what's called a landing page and it'll give you all the information. <clears throat> Sorry, all the information you need. But if you have questions, you can always email me. Let's set sale cards. <laughs> yes, I know, Kathy. I figured you, you would like you would like these. Um, my my sister, by the way, y'all is the the one that pops up is Catherine Parnell, Isabel Parnell. Um, that's my that's my baby sister, and she has gotten into crafting. But she loves they love the lake, and they love. Um, they love to boat and sail and do all that stuff. So um, I figured y'all would like this one. <laughs> yeah, I know, Sharon, I forgot. So I'm gonna draw four today. Cause I, you know, forget things very easily. <laughs> um, okay, the last thing I have to tell y'all is about two classes. These two classes were done to help me hit my 100,000 and I'm literally like skirting on it. Um, I have two orders to put in on Friday for the, the new holiday catalog, and once I put those in, I'll hit it, unless I get some more orders um, from the rest of this week. I am so excited, but I do still have, the Hello Friendly one is completely sold out. You can't get that one. But I have a couple, I think, 
oh, don't hold me to it, but I think when I checked it this morning, it said I had either five or six left. Um, and I had a bunch of these. And so now they're, there's not very many of them left. But if you still want them, you can still get this one. Um, the thing about this registration is that you, if you already have this stamp set, you can pick another stamp set from the list. The stamp set is free because these are past celebration items. And so I'm not charging you for these. So this is free. What you get and what you're paying for is the embellishment, the ribbon, and the make and take packet. Okay, the DSP is free as well because the DSP was part of the celebration too, but every kit will get the DSP no matter what, okay? So even if you have the DSP, it doesn't matter, you're gonna get that. Um, but you will get the make and takes, you'll get a PDF, you're gonna get a video, um, just like a normal one of my classes. These classes though are only $25 because obviously this is free and your stamp set is free. <laughs> so really what you're paying for is the products and shipping for it. So if you are interested, please let me know. And I will, um, I don't think that's actually linked in the description of the video. So I'll make sure I get that, that little link um, up, updated as well. But I can definitely forward you the email for it. So anyway, um, Berry Blessings, I still have some of those left and I would love to get rid of all of them anyway. But um, I did want to say, I know I haven't hit it yet, but I'm super thankful and appreciative to every single person who has helped me get to this 100,000. It has been the last, um, so I've been a demonstrator for seven and a half years. And I started it as a business right, really kind of before I got married, but I didn't have a clue what I was doing and really started going gung-ho as a business when I, um, right after I got married. And it has been a whirlwind and I love it. And it has been the best thing for me and I have the best customers ever. So um, I will not continue because I will start crying, but um, this is just a little extra to kind of get me there. And then also just a little thank you because I'm giving you some little free stuff out of it just to kind of help as well. So anyway, um, Let's see. Um, oh, yeah, I got to reach that goal. <laughs> got to reach it. Yes, Verna. Um, okay. So, again, if you have any questions, um, definitely check out the description of the video, and you can find just about everything there. There's also a link to my blog, which will give you the measurements for today's cards. And we're going to play with a brand new set that is coming out. And the reason I chose this suite to use today is because I took a crafting class this past Saturday. Was it this? No, not this past Saturday, the Saturday before on the 16th. And it was called Creativity Now. It was completely led by Stamping Up and it was just about the crafting. And it was to kind of get us into getting excited about the new mini holiday catalog. Well, they used this set. And I'm going to be honest with you. At first, I was like, man, it's not my thing. But y'all, the projects they created were amazing. And I did change them up. They're not exactly how they did them because I had to put my own little thing on it. But it was incredible. I enjoyed it. I learned a lot of the history about the suite itself. It comes with the stamp set. It comes with dies. It has paper. And the paper is to die for. Like it is what I call yummy, delicious paper. It is foil. And I'm going to be honest with you. This one right here, this one is my favorite. And that is foil. It is a white foil on top. It is gorgeous. Um, but it, it is fantastic paper. I know I've showed the whole pack before, so I won't go through it again, but um, it's absolutely gorgeous. It comes with ribbon as well. So there's ribbon. Um, this is a soft, I think they do call it soft seafoam, right? Yes, soft seafoam ribbon, which we'll use. 
Then it also comes with these little trinkets, which of course, you know, I'm not going to be able to find them in my stack. Oh, here they are. They come with these trinkets, which these are stunning. These are a little thicker, so make sure if you use these on cards or projects or whatever that you're not, that you're careful with mailing them. But they're not, they're not very breakable. <laughs> they're definitely sturdy. So it comes with that, and then I believe that's it. I don't think there's anything else that comes with it. Um, but it is... I ended up, I have ended up really, really liking it. And then it has like this little random B. And if you actually look at the paper very closely, there is a design that has a B in it. And then there's also a design that has a ladybug image in it. So if you have this paper, go check it out. Um, if you're a demonstrator, if you don't have this paper yet and you do get it, go find the hidden gems within it because I did not notice them until they picked them out at the event. So, all right, so let's get started. We are going to start with, let's start with this one. And I'm going to show you this background right here, which is what they did. They just had different colors with it, but I was kind of impressed. This is a less messy, watercolor like faux watercolor kind of thing all right i don't need that one yet so let's see i want to make sure i get everything everything out okay and we are going to have to do some die cutting just so you know all right i'm gonna move all that so i'm gonna grab um some grid paper really quick because we definitely want to make sure that whenever you're using Stampin' Blend, you always want to make sure that you've got something underneath to protect your surface because it will bleed through definitely on the back, but sometimes it can go through onto your actual desktop. And I have a very messy grid paper here, so we're going to... You can see what I've been working on <laughs> with that one. All right. So we are gonna start with the Calypso Coral. I also learned that um, I needed new um, Stampin' Write markers when I was doing this project. Um, I had to go over it quite a bit. But if you have it, but my, my Stampin' Write markers, number one, I use them all the time, and number two, I've had them for a while. So it's, um, so don't, yours wouldn't be like that if you don't use them all the time. Um, but I love coloring. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of go back and forth and I'm going to go down about half the page. Okay. And I'm going to switch it around and I'm sorry, I'll probably shake it. I'm putting my elbows down, but I don't think that's working very well to keep it stable. Okay, I don't want the outsides to be perfect because it's watercolor, so just kind of go with however it is. We're gonna take the dark one, the dark Calypso Coral. Actually, you know what, let's do this. Let's do the light pool party. We're gonna go ahead and do the light pool party. And I'm not necessarily gonna make sure that up there is good. You see how it's running out? It is in my cart to purchase. <laughs> but I didn't want to change the pool party color. I really like the pool party. All right, there we go. I think I can officially retire that one now. All right, now we're gonna go with the dark. So we're gonna take the dark Calypso Coral. We're gonna start right here. And then we're gonna go up. And we're just gonna kind of cover up the light. We're going to go up about halfway. Okay. Just like that. And then we're going to take the dark pool party. And we're going to come down. My darker ones, apparently I must not use as much. Pool party I do use a lot. 
All right, let me add a little bit more here. There we go. Okay. So now we've got that. Oh, wow. It just got really bright. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but okay. All right. Um, so now we've got this piece. Now what I want to do is I actually want to take the Calypso Coral ink and the Pool Party ink, and I want to stamp that Bumblebee image on there. So we're going to take the Pool Party one first. And I'm just going to stamp it kind of down in the lighter section. Like that. Okay. Then I'm going to take my Calypso Coral. Actually, before I take my Calypso Coral, I got to clean off. Because we don't want to mix those colors up. And my um, comments have gone away. There we go. Hold on just a second. <laughs> Woo! I had to sneeze there. <laughs> All right. So we've got Calypso Coral now. And we're going to put Calypso Coral. We're going to stamp this one in the dark. And then this one kind of right about here. And then this one up here. Okay. And then actually I'm gonna leave that out. I'm gonna set that kind of to the side. And then I want to take, um, this is gonna be my inside piece. So I'm gonna take that Calypso Coral and I'm just gonna do a couple bees inside like that. Let's put one up here too. Well, there we go. All right, and then we want to stamp our sentiment And I did have extra cardstock, but I must have lost it. So we'll grab that piece. And then we are going to stamp much love in your new life together. And we're going to stamp that in Calypso Coral. We're going to stamp it down right there. Pretty, I think that did pretty good. And then I'm going to take my trimmer because we don't need it that big. And I did have my trimmer. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, I know I remember bringing my trimmer over today. All right. I'm going to trim off just a little bit of the bottom of that together so that I can make it straight. And then we're going to flip it. And we're going to put it here with the much love. Just like that. And then we're just going to trim off the edges. Because we don't want all that white space. All right. I'm going to trim off just a little bit more of the much love. There we go. All right. Now I'm happy with it. We're going to set that aside. And then we're going to start putting everything together. All right. So we're going to take our card base, fold it in half. Got to reach in front of me to get all the little pieces here. We're going to take a piece of that splendid day designer series paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how I want this to be laid out onto the card front. So I definitely know I want this piece straight and then I want this at an angle. Okay. So now I'm happy with that. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to leave that at that angle. I might have to fix it again, but it'll be all right. And then we're just going to put adhesive on the back like that. Yeah, I messed it all up. <laughs> all right, there we go.
Okay, all right, so I like that. Now what I want to do is I'm gonna take and pop all of this up. So I'm gonna get my dimensionals. I wanna make sure that I put dimensionals on all the areas of both cards. And I'm gonna add a little bit more than normal. And the reason for that is I wanna make sure that it does stay since it is the DSP. All right, let me find my scissors. So I had all of my scissors clean. I had to, um, cause they were all inky. So I had to get them all cleaned. And you know why they're all inky because I cut. I cut adhesive with it. All right. I'm gonna go through and cut all these so we can use all of them. All right. So then we're gonna put one there, one there and one there. And then we're gonna put a little one there, 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 and then one more. I know that's probably a lot, but better safe than sorry. All right. The light got really bright and <laughs> now I can't see what I've taken the backings off of. Goodness, goodness. All right, there we go. I think I got it. All right. So now we're going to keep this piece straight and then the DSP is going to be crooked at an angle like that. Okay. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some adhesive and we're going to run it right here. We're going to take our big old burlap. What, is, what do they call it? They call it um, natural finish ribbon but it's just burlap and we are going to stick it there and then we're going to fold it over. We're going to put some more adhesive right there. We're going to fold it over. We're going to attach that there. Then we will take our scissors and we will cut. I was going to say, I was trying to cut this ribbon and I was really struggling because my scissors were not very clean. They were very sticky. So I literally went through and cleaned every pair of scissors that I have. All because of this ribbon. So, all right, so there we go. So we've got that. And then we are going to, we've got to cut two items out real quick with our, um, our machine. So I'm gonna move those just so I don't get them all messed up. I'm gonna bring in my big old machine. Make sure I'm in the camera. Yes, Florence. You clean your scissors with alcohol? Yes, Vicki, yes I did. So I got a big towel, I balled it up and like folded it a whole bunch of times and then put the scissors on top of it and then poured like a big thing of alcohol on them and kind of let them sit for a second. And then I rubbed it off with um, another towel that had alcohol on it as well. And it came right on off because I was originally going to use my glue be gone and then I couldn't find it. <laughs> so glue be gone works really well as um, also. All right. So we're going to cut out that one and we're going to cut out that one. And yes, Florence, that is the best way to, in my opinion, put this ribbon because it is, it is definitely very wide. So if you tie a bow, it can be very thick. Um, I, I also like to cut it in half. So that's a good way to do it as well. So there's all kinds of ways you can do it. And I will have to go back and fix the, 
ribbon when we're done because I did get it cut crooked, but it'll be all right for now. All right, so I've got clips of coral and pool party, and I'm hoping I can get this on here. I'm sure I can, right? Look at there. I did not want to waste the rest of that. Now we're just going to run it through. <clears throat> and we'll take all this off. And I'm going to throw all that in that area well as well so that I can get all of the trash put away too. All right. It doesn't want to come up. There we go. These, um, this is the magnetic plate. No, you can't get it anymore. Um, but I told you, I've told you a couple times now I'm keeping it till it dies. Um, and I have, I do have, I did get a couple of them, so it has not died fully yet. I have it taped on the sides now. So it's almost there. All right, so we've got this and put that there so I don't waste it later on. We're gonna put our dies back where they belong so we don't lose them. And then let me get all the trash up. You could even, on these pieces, you could even keep in these little extras if you wanted to because it actually does make it look very abstract which is kind of cool oh and speaking of abstract if you do go in just so you know this piece too if you stamp this when you go to stamp this it is not going to line up evenly at all it's meant to be that way same goes with this it doesn't line up perfectly so don't get frustrated that's the way it's supposed to be all right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece and I'm gonna actually cut off a little bit of the stem just so that it doesn't poke out on the other side. I'm gonna take my liquid glue and I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive. Well, that was a lot of adhesive on the edges. My stomach is growling, y'all. I think I am hungry. And then we're just literally going to lay it right here. Like that. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing to the Calypso Coral one. Just a little bit of glue right along those edges. Typically, I would use adhesive sheets, but I did not. Um, it would definitely be smart if you did. I'm going to actually turn this one a little bit this way just so that those bees can be seen. All right, so there we go. Now we're going to take our sentiment. We're going to pop it up. We're going to put three across the center and then we're going to stick it right here the last thing I want to do is I want to add these these are solid faceted gems I absolutely adore these these are amazing we're going to use the pool party ones I'm going to put one right here and put one up here and then I'm going to grab a small one and put that right there and then let's stick our inside piece on and then we are done with card number one. Oh, Verna, I do too. Oh yeah, Carrie, it's, yeah, the towel, yeah. I did it just so I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> so I wouldn't create a mess because you know what that would be my luck is I literally would like start to pour it you know or like get it on the on the small piece of you know paper towel or whatever and it would just like the whole thing would dump on me so 
I have to think about my clumsiness when I do things. So yay. <laughs> All right, so let's put this inside piece on real quick. Because if it's gonna go wrong, it's gonna go wrong for me. I will be the person to test it all the wrong ways so that you can do it right. But you know what, that's me. <laughs> that's how it works. Oh, and look at this. That's kind of Calypso Girl. I didn't even notice that before. That's pretty, that's pretty close. All right, so there is card number one. And again, there is a blog post, so it'll give you all the measurements of everything. But more or less, when I designed these, I literally took what they did in the Creativity Now um, class from Stampin' Up, and I changed the colors. So I like, changed the DSP, I changed the background, I changed ribbon, that kind of stuff. So it is the same layout, just different color schemes. So, all right. Let's move on to card number two. And we're gonna do this one as our number two. This one I love because of the Fresh Freesia. For those of you who don't know, purple is my favorite color. And I don't know why, I don't use it very often. I do use Gorgeous Grape quite a bit, but I haven't recently. Um, all right, we're gonna, I'm gonna pull all this stuff out so I've got it right here. And I'm gonna show you a trick that I learned during Creativity Now. I was super excited about it. And I'm gonna pass it on to y'all. Because I am not a bow, I am not a good bow tire. Okay, so let's start out first. We do need to do some die cutting. I do already have these two cut out, this is all we'll need. Um, I did three on here and I didn't like that. So I'm gonna leave it at two today. And then, so I just need to actually, let's stamp our two flowers here and then we will pull out the machine. Okay, so we're gonna use black memento. If I can get the lid off of it, Ooh, that was tight. All right, so I need this one. This is a little bit larger of a stamp, so I'm just gonna flip it over and ink it just to make sure I got it right. This will be on the soft sea foam. There we go. And then This one we're gonna put on our petal pink. All right. And while we actually, while we've got the black memento out, let's just go ahead and stamp our um, sentiment. And we're gonna do sending hugs. Let me stamp it down here. Okay, all right, now that will be all of our stamping for this one. So now let me pull in the machine and we're gonna do two different types of, um, what is it called? Um, plate arrangements, okay? So the first one we're gonna leave as is I'm gonna move this for just a second so it doesn't shift around a whole bunch. All right. Yes, it does, Sharon. It makes it a whole lot easier to, even just to make sure that you get the ink like all over, it's, yeah, it's definitely much better to do it that way with the big ones. Okay, so on this one, we're gonna take this piece there we're gonna take this little die here. It kind of looks like a pot, but it is used for all kinds of different things. So we're gonna stick that right there. We're gonna stick this piece here. 
I'm gonna see if I can get that on there. I sure can. All right, so we want the outline pieces. And this one has this little hole down here. So if you make sure that your stem is in there, you can adjust to get the um, die exactly where it's supposed to be. Same for this one. So I kind of adjust up here and then look at the stem down there to make sure it's in, in that little hole. All right. So now we're gonna cut these out. And oops, it adjusted, but it'll be all right. I'm not gonna stress over it. Okay, let's take this one off and then we'll take all this off. All right, so now what I wanna do is I wanna take this plate away and I want to bring in this gray plate here. And it's plate number four. So you're gonna have plate number one, plate number four. We're gonna take and emboss our fresh freesia with the time warm type embossing folder, which I have to say is probably one of my favorites. My um, fold is up at the top so that when it runs through, all the pressure releases out to the bottom. And it'll just slide right through. If you're doing a combination of plates where it's really hard, um, to get it through, you you don't have your plates right. Oh, let's see. What did Carrie say? Always love how you allow yourself to accept. I am so less than perfect, girl. <laughs> I have to. Otherwise, I'd be here all day. You know, I I will say I am a perfectionist. I am. Um, in every aspect of my life, my craft room has to be completely organized. When I do something, I have a list and check marks and. I might be a little OCD and I get it. Um, my full-time job, I'm a perfectionist. I, I that's why I work a lot of hours. <laughs> um, but, but, um, it also means that I don't have to go back and fix mistakes later. But one thing I've learned is with crafting, I have to let it go. Otherwise, I would never create a project. I would be forever stuck in the craft room <laughs> and never coming out because I would never get anything created. Okay, so we're gonna take and kind of give it a little bit of antique look. So we're gonna take our Whisper White, which used to be called Craft White, so you probably you might have one that says Craft White, um, and it's got plenty of ink on here. I'm gonna lay it flat and I'm not gonna press real hard. If you press really hard, you're gonna get ink in places that you don't want it. All I want is to get some white on the raised areas. So I'm literally just gonna run it, okay? And I'm just gonna kinda run it in a little bit of different directions. Um, I don't have a lot of ink on my pad. And ta-da, I'm good with that. Because again, I want some spots that don't have it which helps kind of give it that antique look as well. Um, you can do less, you can do more, you can do whatever you want. Um, but my pad is not real inked. I would suggest if you are doing a technique like this, you don't want a real juicy pad because the real juicy pad will kind of seep as you run it and it will get in all these little extra crevices as well. Okay? <clears throat> all right. So that is that one. And now we are going to wrap our ribbon around. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm gonna show you if I can find where I put my tape. I typically use little um, sewing pins, but this is seam binding ribbon and I didn't want the marks to be in there. So I had to find the tape. All right, we're gonna wrap this around we are going to, and I had never seen this before, 
until the 16th when I was watching another demonstrator do it. Okay, so I've got my little cross over here. I'm going to take, these are the brand new tweezers that come with the toolkit that has the embossing, um, embossing buddy and then the like plate for the embossing powder. I'm gonna take these twe tweezers and I'm gonna stick it and hold it just like it's an extra finger. I was pretty impressed, although I messed it up there because I was getting a little too excited. All right, hold on. Let's do that again. So we're gonna attach that in just like that. So now it's like an extra finger. Now I'm going to tie my bow. Actually, I am gonna do it this way. Now, I'm gonna adjust it just a little bit, see if I can get a little tighter. There we go. I'm gonna undo it. And now I can adjust my bow to however I need it. And look at that. Pretty awesome. It gives you that extra little thumb you need. And then we're just gonna trim off those edges and I did waste a lot and I'm sorry. Um, for those of you who <laughs> are real <laughs> animal about that part, I'm sorry. I actually am usually pretty good at not wasting, but. All right, let me put my tape back on this so I don't lose it. And then we're gonna flip this bad boy over. We're gonna put dimensionals on the back of it. And I might have to get some more dimensionals because I think I am running out. I might have one more pack over here. All right. Let's take these off. All right, and don't forget to comment. I promise I will remember <laughs> to draw prizes at the end. Maybe y'all might have to holler at me a little bit too. Exactly, Vernon, exactly. Most people don't know it's not perfect. That's right. How are they gonna know? They don't craft with me. <laughs> they didn't know what my idea was. All right, so let's fold this in half, give it a good burnish, and then we're going to stick this piece right on top. And I think the um, fresh freesia and the soft sea foam go really nice together. All right, I, I'm actually going to make this just a little smaller. Just a tea bit smaller. just so that it doesn't cover up the other stuff. Okay. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we want to take our pieces that we have cut and we are going to pull all of those over. And put all these pieces aside. Can you use them again? All right. So I'm going to take, I didn't, I didn't do that very well. All right. We're going to do the white piece first. So I'm gonna put this right about here. And then we're gonna put the green, the soft sea foam right about here. And that will come up like that. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of glue. We're gonna do some liquid glue again. Do a little bit of glue there. And just know that it will take it probably a few minutes or a few few extra seconds 
just because it is on that craft white. All right, now we're gonna take this and we're gonna ink it or put some liquid glue on it. And then we're gonna adhere it right down here like that. Okay, we're gonna take and pop that piece up. So let me grab some extra dimensionals. Let's see. You'll see what I have, don't you? Oh, here we go. I have all, <laughs> all outsides. I guess that means I've been putting them aside. All right. So we've got that piece now. And that's going to go like this. And then we're going to take this little piece wherever I put it. This is going to go out here to the side. So we're going to put a little bit of liquid glue on there. Again, it probably would be better to do adhesive strips. And then we're just going to stick this out like that. I'll put one there and do the last one off that page. And we will stick this right here. Like that. That might be a little crooked. Let's see if I can move it up some. And we're going to do some fussy cutting and I'm going to try not to mess up. I, when I was putting it together for some reason, I was really struggling. I think cause it's a smaller sentiment than what I normally am fussy cutting out. Boy, did I have All right, now we're going to take many dimensionals. We're going to put one there, put one there, and we will put this onto our card front. So this is going to just sit right here at the bottom. 
All right. Oh, no, wait, I forgot. One more thing. I always forget the embellishment. So let's do one there, one there, and then a small one right here. Oh, and then look, I've got another one there. And then let's do right there. Okay, now it is complete. I do like the colors of this. Um, the paper, this little piece of paper right here just makes it, makes it. Okay, so there we have it. Oh boy, fussy cutting. <laughs> um, Dora, I will call you a little bit later. Um, I have to, I actually have to eat dinner. I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> so as soon as I get done, I'm going to go eat dinner. And then I, um, I can certainly call you. Not a big deal. Um, okay, so there we go. Card number two. Let's do number three. And this is number three. And here we're using those little extra pieces, which are so exciting. Okay. And I pulled in some extra pieces with this one. I did go ahead and cut some of them just so that you didn't have to um, watch me do all of that again since you've seen me cut out a bunch of times now. Okay. So here we are going to take our, we're using the uh, stylus shapes and the deckled rectangles. Um, the stylus shape is for the sentiment and then the deckled rectangles is for this white piece right here. Okay, so let's fold our card base in half. And this is petal pink. I know I've said it, but I'm gonna say it again. <laughs> um, there is a blog post so you can get all the measurements and all the products that were actually used. Um, I will say, obviously you can't get the um, Splendid Day Suite yet, but I did put the item numbers underneath each description um, and the measurements for the cardstock so that you could have those in case you did ended up really liking it. Um, and then you could have it. Yeah, <laughs> got to have the embellishments. <laughs> yes, you got to always have the embellishments, right? Okay, we are gonna use this piece right here, which is to technically color in this right here, but I wanted to kind of get just some Let's stick that one in there like that. And let's get a little on the edge. Okay, I think that should work. We'll put our deckled on there. Yep, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so we got that. And I'm going to take the, um, let's see, this is called Glitter Organdy Ribbon. We're gonna take that, which is in the annual catalog. We're gonna wrap it around the bottom. And we're just gonna tie a knot with it. We're not gonna tie a bow. We're just gonna tie a little knot. I have to be quiet when I do it because I have to concentrate. <laughs> oh, 
that's part of my specialness, I know. See, I'm struggling. I'm struggling worse with a knot than I do a bow. All right, so there we go. I will tell you with this ribbon, there are some glitter that will fall off and it's why I don't use it very often. For those of you who know me, I don't do glitter. I don't like it. I don't like the messiness of it. Um, so I don't use this ribbon very often, but I thought this card had to have it. So I sucked it up. I'm pretty sure this is the very first roll I ever bought back when it came out like two years ago um, from my own personal stash. So, all right. So we've got that there. We get all this off. And now I'm going to move this out the way. We don't need any more of the grid paper. Okay, so we are going to, let's go actually go ahead and stamp our sentiment real quick. I'm going to cut it off screen since you've already seen me cut a whole bunch. I'm just going to stick it there. Get my die. And I'm using this one right here, which is the second from smallest. literally fits right around that let's celebrate it's pretty cool all right okay all right so there we go now I'm going to attach these on here now I'm putting them in different directions as well so um, I'm not going to put them all in the same. You can make them all go the same way if you want to. Um, all right. So these, and they're all just put down flat. All right. So we're going to stick this one right about here. And then we're going to put this one, the Fresh Freesia one. The patterns on the back are just as pretty as the foil. Let's put that one in here. And of course I had to use my favorite. I'm gonna tuck that one right up underneath. Maybe. And then this one, will go up like this. Okay. We're going to take these right here. Actually, let's take our embellishment first. We're going to take glue dots. <clears throat> and we're just putting the glue dot right here on the bottom. That's all it really needs. And we're gonna stick it right up underneath so that it's hanging out just a little bit like that. And then we'll take this one, stick it down like this way. Okay, make sure our ribbon is over where they come together. And then we're gonna put dimensionals on our on, on our sentiment. Now, I'm going to show you what I'm gonna do with the sentiment. So you wanna take the outside strip of your dimensionals and you want to lay it at the very top. Then you're gonna do the same thing at the bottom. So you're gonna just lay it right here along the bottom. And why you're gonna do that is because you want to make sure that your dimension your dimensionals are actually touching on either side of your ribbon so that it doesn't flop around on your ribbon and that's just a little 
thing I have found over the years. All right, so I'm gonna stick this right on over and under. And then I'm gonna make sure that it's centered so it goes on either side. Then we will flip this over. We're gonna add some more dimensionals. Yeah, I think these scissors just need to be sharpened. All right, there, 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 there. All right, we'll do that at the top, that one there, and let's put this one here. And then we will put one on this ribbon. We're gonna straddle it onto it so it won't move, okay? That one didn't want to come off. Okay, <laughs> now we've got it. So now we're gonna lay this right here in the center. And we're gonna stick this on the inside. I move all my stuff out the way. some prizes because now we are done so make sure <laughs> that you are commenting and sharing so that I can get your name when I scroll through all right I'm gonna clean up just real quick so that I have plenty of room I didn't I'm gonna grab two more prizes and we're gonna give away four since I didn't give away any last week sorry guys all right and I'm gonna bring out the cards so that while I go grab the <laughs> other prizes, then you can um, you can look at the pretty cards. Okay, the foil is so pretty. Oh, yes it is, Corinne, yes it is. Yes it is. All right, I gotta move a whole bunch of stuff. All right, let's see, Facebook Live giveaways. Let's do these. Okay, everybody ready? Have you done a lot of commenting? <laughs> All right, let's set these aside really quick. All right, so let's do the sending smiles. I'm gonna grab this and my marker. So we're gonna do the sending smiles stamp set. And let's see who I land on first. Um, Kathy Trembley, this is yours. Do you, I hope you didn't buy this one. <laughs> did you buy this one, Kathy? <laughs> if you did, we can talk. How about that? All right, so there's number one. And then let's do number two, which is gonna be a bolt of ribbon. And this is that bumblebee ribbon, which is gorgeous. You did. Okay, how about this? How about this? How about some paper? There we go. <laughs> uh, wrong Kathy. Uh, yes, yes, I'm sorry. Wrong Kathy. <laughs> or wrong Morgan, right? All right, so let's see. We've got, I'm giving it a good one here, Florence Miller. Florence, I, I'm pretty sure you have that stamp set already. Um, are you still here? Because what I'll do, Florence, is give you this, which is a pack of the Memories or More card pack. <laughs> I don't know. Keep commenting. You might get popped up, right? It's all in where I stop. All right. Let's see. And the next one we have is... 
Dora, that one is you. Dora, I, I'm pretty sure you don't have the sending smiles. Yes, you are. Okay, so Florence, then. You don't mind the swap at all. Okay, so Florence, I'll let you have that one. And then Dora, I will give you the sending smiles. Okay, one more. <laughs> one more. All right, make sure you comment share and then let's get you on the next one and hey Catherine is well Parnell really Morgan this one is yours um, so you'll get the ribbon just what Kennedy wants right <laughs> all right I almost put Kathy I oh you are very welcome Dora um, if you are coming to class this week I will um, Kathy you won't be at class this week um so I will, um, Kathy with a K, you won't be at class. So I will put you, um, yours in the mail. Um, but, uh, Dora, if you're going to be at class, I will actually bring yours to class. You are. Okay, perfect. Then I'll bring yours to class with me. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Of course, there are your cards again. Make sure you check out the links that are in the description of the video for all the events that I have coming up. And guys, thank you again for just about selling out the um, $100,000 classes. Like that just, it really made me, <laughs> you can tell um, my husband, um, he got to hear about it all day long. So, <laughs> um, all right. Kathy with a C, no, you're not. I didn't figure you were. I'll get yours in the mail. I'm gonna put yours with your color glove. How about that? Um, all right, everyone, have a great night, and I will see some of you on Saturday, and if not, I will see you all next Monday. I am going to do a Facebook Live. I don't leave for vacation until Wednesday of next week, so I'm going to do a 4th of July um, little special whatever on Monday and just make some 4th of July projects with you, so just because I want to craft and I want to see you guys on Monday, so I'll see you next time. Bye.